this is Sorry. Surrey Cornell then. Sorry, great start to the season on Saturday. You must feel, as a team, absolutely full of confidence going forward. Yeah, of course, yeah. You know, um, went up there with not many giving us a chance and big underdogs early in the game. They've been talked up a lot in pre-season and, um, as favourites for the league and, you know, you can understand why they've made some good signings and they've um, done a good goal. So, for us to go up there on Saturday and, and get a win was, was great, yeah. Obviously, you'd have gone up there looking for that, but did did anyone or was anyone in the in the squad surprised by actually what you managed to achieve? No, it was a good it was a good win, and you know I think the squad's capable of that. You know, as it showed on Saturday, you know um, the gaffer and Sean spoke to us the day before and, and said, you know, there's a, there's a lot of experience in this team and a lot of games amounted up by the players that were playing on Saturday, so. You know, we've all been to difficult places and come away with wins and it was just great to to go there on Saturday being the first game of the season and to get off to a flyer there, it was just great, yeah. And on a personal level, happy with your own performance in a, you know, a good solid 90 minutes? Yeah, I was happy, yeah, you know, we all had the jobs to do and I thought I'd done my job well and obviously we come away with the win, so, so everyone else done the job as well, so it was a good team performance and, and I was pleased, yeah. A tough proposition going away to Brighton, but also a very different challenge as well, I'd imagine. Very different, yeah. Um, very different. But as you say, we'll go up there full of confidence now after after coming away with um, with all three points on Saturday. So, you know, this is a good game. Everyone should be looking forward to going up to Brighton. Good stadium, good club, and um, you know, we should be going there full of confidence now. And once again, not many people are going to give you a chance. So. Can Cheltenham enjoy that underdog status again? Of course, yeah, we should, we should do. You know, after going Saturday and proving it, um, we should be going up there full of confidence and, and you know, just make sure that we make a good account of ourselves and perform well. We went up to West Ham last year and performed well. Um, you know, and Tuesday night should be the same. Obviously, they're managed by Sammy up here. A favourite of yours from his time at Liverpool? Oh, yeah, massively, yeah. The man's a legend, and um, yeah, he is a great player, and he was a great captain for Liverpool. So, you know, that'd be uh, that'd be great to, to come up against one of his teams, and hopefully uh, bring on more disappointment for them because they, didn't, they never start the season great on Saturday. So they'll be um, they'll be right off for it, but they'll be under pressure as well. Yeah, you know, I suppose there is that little chink, isn't there, that the teams are getting used to how he wants them to play. Of course, yes. Yeah. Same with any team and any new manager. He'll have different ideas and he'll turn, uh, he'll turn put them in place. He never got off to a good start Saturday, so hopefully we can put more pressure on them on yeah, Tuesday night. And how much do you think that helps Cheltenham? That Cheltenham have the continuity. It's still Mark Yates. And all right, yes, there's been quite a few new faces, but you know, presumably Mark's not asking that much different from you. No, you're right. Yeah, the um, you don't normally get. It get that as much at, at our level, you know, there's always changes year after year, um, and it seems to get, get a lot quicker now the changes, so for us to have that continuity as you say is, is really good and you know, it can only benefit for us, yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you, Philip. Cheers. Terry, yeah, how pleased were you when the 3 5 2 worked? Because obviously you've always said that you want to play up front with somebody and you and Byron on Saturday. Was that was that great to, to see the formation work after didn't work very well at Kidderminster, so it came together on Saturday, didn't it? Yeah, you know, it, it worked well, and I was pleased for myself that it worked well uh, because you've passed the women's side and performance. So, you know, I was pleased, and you know, pre season, pre season, people get carried away with with the results and performances. You know, we've had a great pre season, very often, you know, and all that matters is come, um, come the start of the season, this is the proper stuff, and you know, we managed to produce a good Saturday. So, so that's the most important thing. Yeah. Do you think four three five two is better for you than four three three, or does it not make any difference to you whether you're because uh, you did play in the four three three a few times in pre-season, didn't you as well? Yeah, I've played in both. Yeah, which is you know hopefully only benefit myself. It's given me more of a chance of playing the team this year. And um, you know, as I say, well, you know whatever formation four three 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 five two. You know, hopefully I can be a part of of them and um, you know and play here. Yeah. It was nice to be involved in the, the goal, I'm sure.
for Joe Hanks on, on Saturday, was that a, a good moment for, for everyone? It was, yeah, you know, we thought we were, we were on top at that stage in the game. Um, we had, obviously had the goal disallowed before that, and Hanks had a good chance as well before his goal, and you know, we seemed to string a few passes together, and um, you know, and Hanks put it away. It was a great finish, and you know, it was great for the lad coming on. He sort of been through in at the deep end, you know, an early injury, and this is what happens in football. This is how you get your chance, and and Joe's been ready for a long time, and you know, I'm glad he took it. Yeah. Do you, do you feel like you need a goal, or, or not? Because you spent a lot of time last season playing deeper. You know, at times you're playing in midfield, really, weren't you? But do you feel like you, if you haven't scored for a while? Does that play on your mind at all? No, you know, I'm happy with my performance on Saturday, and I'll score goals, no problem at this level. I will score goals and you know that's not a problem to me. Yeah, and the formation with Byron, something that you've had the chance to, to work on last season, if you two can hit it off that could be crucial this season, couldn't it? Yeah, you know, of course, yeah. You know, everyone has got a major major role in the um, in the team and you know, but played a few games last year together and a couple in pre season and what and now on Saturday and you know, the manager says, you know, if we play well we are important for the team and you know, that's like fully so with you know, the top end of the team and, and you know, we've got a lot of work to do so, you know, hopefully that can continue. Yeah. Yeah, you said you had a specific role to do on Saturday which you didn't everyone you were pleased with the way you did it, so what was what was your instruction? Was it a lot of un, sort of hard work that went unnoticed, do you think? Just making life difficult for their defenders? Yeah, a lot of hard work, yeah. And the, um, you know, that's that's gotta be the, the number one. You've got to go away from home and do that. You've got to work hard and do a lot of running that you you wouldn't really want to do, but you've got to for the team and um, you know to go away and put a performance in like that. There was a lot of hard work, not from myself, but from everyone in the team, and um, you know that's the standard we've set now as well. So you know we've got to um, we've got to live up to that standard and, and keep that going. Yeah. Cheers, Terry.